Bullies are a pervasive problem in schools and workplaces, causing harm not only to their targets but also to witnesses of their abusive behavior. When a bad boy with Down syndrome named Peter became the target of an apparent bully, he found himself with defenders who were quick to come to his aid. Peter was employed as a bad boy at Kilroy's Wonder Market, a grocery store in New Jersey. For a young man with Down syndrome, holding down a regular job was a significant achievement as individuals with Down syndrome often face challenges in finding employment. Peter took his job seriously, carefully bagging customers' groceries at his own pace. Unfortunately, his deliberate work style drew the ire of a customer who seemed impatient and frustrated with the wait. In an offensive comment, the customer complained to someone nearby, saying, this might take a while, we're in the R asterisk 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 deadline. Look how slow he's going. The woman nearby appeared taken aback by the hurtful remark, but there was no room for confusion when the bully continued, stating, they shouldn't hire these kinds of people. At this point, the woman in line chose to respond in a different manner. She immediately came to Peter's defense, strongly disagreeing with the bully's comments. She firmly told the bully to leave Peter alone and criticized his mistreatment of the young man. She even issued a stern warning to him, saying, you're not welcome back in here. As she proceeded to the checkout, Peter apologized for the delay, but the woman reassured him that it was not a problem and encouraged him to take his time. Despite the warning, the apparent bully returned to the store, once again choosing Peter's line. This time, when he made hurtful comments about Peter, not one but two other customers stepped in to defend him. They expressed their disgust with the comments directed at Peter. One female bystander told the bully not to speak to Peter in such a way and reasoned with him. A nearby man also urged the bully to give Peter a chance, emphasizing that Peter was trying his best. However, the bully remained defiant, insisting that he had given Peter a chance and complaining about the time it was taking. The bystanders were surprised and irritated that the bully did not change his behavior when confronted. One of them even threatened to call the police if the bully refused to leave. In the midst of the situation, another customer made a compelling argument, suggesting that if the apparent bully didn't like the store or its employees, he should go elsewhere. He straightforwardly told the bully that he had the option to shop at any other store and that no one had forced him to come there. However, the truth behind this scenario was soon unveiled. Both the bully and the victim, Peter, were actors, and their interaction had been staged for a television show called, What Would You Do?, on ABC. The show, hosted by John Quinones, orchestrates contentious situations to observe how ordinary individuals react to instances of bullying. After capturing the reactions of people on hidden cameras, the show interviews them to gain insights into their responses. Details of the scenes are often altered for each performance. In this particular instance, the scenario was adjusted to feature a female bully to investigate whether people would react differently to a female tormentor. Heartwarmingly, it appeared that the gender of the bully didn't affect the shopper's reactions, they still came to Peter's defense. Now, a female actor named Michelle took her place in line at Peter's checkout. Michelle used derogatory language and offensive comments toward Peter, testing the reactions of the other customers. However, one woman immediately responded to the slur, explaining that such language was no longer acceptable, especially in schools where she worked as a teacher. She emphasized the importance of being sensitive to others' needs. Michelle continued with her ruse, suggesting that Peter should be trained in the storeroom and using dented cans to prevent damage, she concluded by disparagingly remarking that Peter shouldn't be working there because he was intellectually disabled. The teacher then asked if the conversation was over, expressing her desire to pay for her groceries. After the bully left, she approached Peter, offering him a hug as a gesture of support. Moments later, the camera crew revealed themselves, and host John Quinones thanked the woman for participating in the show. Michelle's behavior also triggered a strong reaction from another shopper who had overheard the offensive comments from across the store. This customer rebuked the actor for her offensive behavior, 
expressing her disapproval and asserting herself against the bully during her interview for the show.